I really try to focus on the process of shooting and not necessarily the result. The Boston Celtics were back at home and looked to get back in the win column against the Toronto Raptors. Heading in, the Seas knew that they needed to play more connected as a team if they wanted a shot to grab the W. The Seas came out and were in control the entire contest as they executed down the stretch to close out with a 120 to 106 victory as they were led by Shemi Ojale, who finished with a career high 24 points, making the most of his opportunity. I really try to focus on the process of shooting and not necessarily the result. Um, I think if you get caught up and make some misses, you kind of um, ride that up and down. But this year, I just try to focus on shooting the ball the right way, and uh, God takes care of the rest. He's a very reliable guy. He's a very reliable player. Um, I feel like you always know that you can go to Shem and you know exactly what you're getting. And Shem, he was great. He was great, man. He he made his shots. Um, defensively, he was great. Um, you know, we're, we are really confident in Shem. You know, he, he works so hard. Um, and I'm always constantly talking to him and telling him, you know, shoot those shots, man. And, you know, tonight he, he shot it with confidence. You know, we just kept finding them. We kept finding them. We kept shooting them. You know, you've seen the results. Also in this matchup, Shemi Ojale and Peyton Pritchard made history as they became the first pair of Celtics teammates to both make at least six three-pointers in the same game, a milestone that both were proud to accomplish together. Up next, the Celtics will look to close out their homestand with a win against the Detroit Pistons tomorrow night.